Following the explosive final installment of their documentary series, it is being questioned whether Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's relationships with the royal family are beyond repair. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex opened up about their experiences within the firm, casting a negative light on the palace, the media and other members of the family. And now, predictions of another docu-series are already surfacing as reports suggest the Sussexes have more TV appearances to come. Speaking with Zoe Forsey on last week's episode of the Pod Save the King podcast, Russell Myers, royal editor at the Daily Mirror, pondered over what the Sussexes may come to think of their fiery series and what is next for the couple, suggesting that they will need to reflect when they give further insight into their lives. He said, I think there will be Harry and Meghan, the new chapter and it will look at their charity work. That's what they will do. Netflix must have another deal with them because people will watch that. They'll just follow them around, going around the states and Commonwealth countries, doing some work in Africa, Asia, maybe go to Australia. There are definitely options for them. He continued, they're not locked in this cage of not being able to leave the US. They will be welcomed with open arms, I just think the dust needs to settle a little bit. Charles to break silence on Harry and Meghan in Christmas speech with no hidden messages King Charles III will break Buckingham Palace's silence on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle during his first ever Christmas speech, royal sources have claimed. The royal household has remained tight-lipped on the couple since their Netflix docuseries came out. What could the king say in the speech? Find out more here. At another point, he discussed Harry's plans to sit down with TV executives to try to do a TV round ahead of his book. Ms. Forsey interjected, saying, what is left to say? Mr. Myers argued that we would have said that after the Oprah Winfrey interview, now we've got acres of coverage and claims, before adding, I think the book will have that level of reflection and his story about his childhood and what went wrong and how he felt because we didn't really hear much about him, it will be about his feelings on the event, rather than the events themselves. It has now been reported that Harry will sit down for an interview with ITV's Tom Bradby to promote his memoir, which is expected to shed more light on his troubled relationship with the royal family. Spear is due to be published on January 10th and senior royals are believed to be bracing for bombshells. Before the book's release, Harry is taking part in a media blitz in an effort to promote the book that will see him interviewed by American journalist Anderson Cooper on American TV network CBS. A television source told the Daily Mail, Mr. Cooper has won Harry's trust. This would be a coup for Mr. Cooper and fits well with Harry's campaign to promote mental health. It is a primetime Sunday show which hosts foreign leaders and presidents. It's the one that all the politicians and decision makers watch. It is understood that Harry has a similar level of trust with Mr. Bradby, who he has known since he was a teenager. The ITV journalist was a royal correspondent and became acquainted with Harry and his brother Prince William. Since then he has interviewed the Prince and Princess of Wales and also memorably asked Meghan about how she was feeling while on a South Africa tour. The reports come the day after Netflix released a trailer for Live to Lead, a series that looks at influential leaders throughout history and is inspired by the legacy of Nelson Mandela. The Duke and Duchess act as executive producers on the series and may also make an appearance in it if the trailer is anything to go by. Harry and Meghan appear in the almost two-minute long preview, both wearing all black against a stark, white background.
This was inspired by Nelson Mandela, who once said, What counts in life is not the mere fact that we have lived, the prince says. Meghan adds, It is what difference we have made to the lives of others that will determine the significance of the life we lead. It's about people who have made brave choices, Harry says at the end of the trailer. Meghan continues, to fight for change and to become leaders, before Harry concludes, and giving inspiration to the rest of us. To live, to lead. Leaders committed to making a difference in the world share their inspiring life stories in this seven-part series. It will feature interviews with the likes of New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern, social justice attorney and advocate Brian Stevenson and you. As Supreme Court Associate Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg and will enable them to share messages of courage, compassion, humility, hope and generosity. The series is produced by Blackwell and Ruth in association with the Nelson Mandela Foundation, the Sussex's production company Archul and Sheenetic Media. Other interviews featured include anti-apartheid activist and former Justice of the Constitutional Court of South Africa Albie Sachs, climate change activist Greta Thunberg, South Africa's National Rugby Union team captain and social inequality campaigner Sia Khaleesi and feminist activist Gloria Steinem. As we work to absorb 27 years of Mandela's personal correspondence, reflecting on his brave and selfless commitment to the welfare of others, we were simultaneously confronted by a news cycle relentlessly focused on certain international politicians behaving in precisely the opposite way, shamelessly pursuing their own self-interest, using tactics of division and misinformation to serve power and not the people, executive producer and director Jeff Blackwell said in a statement. Live to Lead premieres globally on December 31 on Netflix.